Hello there gorgeous. Right, I'm going to show you um, my version of a little bit of a Peter Andre haircut going on today. Uh, Scott's been growing his hair quite nicely for us and as you can see it's a bit of a different colour. Um, but that's irrelevant really. Most of Peter Andre's hairstyle is in the styling. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a cut with the clippers around the sides and the edge to get it nice and neat and sweet around the corners. And then it's going to be more choppy on the top, but we'll show you that as we come to it. Okay, I'm going to clip him down with a, uh, a guard number two on here just to make it really neat and tidy. It is summertime, so it's nice and short. Cut. Okay, as you can see here, we've clipped around the head. The neckline still very much needs tidying up there, um, which there isn't really one, so we're going to create that, so that'd be something interesting to show you. And also, Across here there's a bit of a step there which we're going to use the scissors over comb and, and blend that in now. A lot of this style is in the styling at the end. Okay, we're going to tidy up this hairline here and as you can see the client hasn't particularly got his own hairline there so I'm going to have to create a shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the shape in first to make sure I'm happy with it and then I should tidy up the lines around it. Okay, so we've tidied up these edges. I'm yet to go around the ears, and we've kind of created a nice hairline on the neck there. It's important, these little hairs, they're like um, needles for the clients. It's important to keep them clear of those as you're cutting, keep it all off the cutting collar. Stop. I'm just gonna, um, just going to now raise, I hope it didn't spray the camera, I'm just going to raise the client's hair now, I've yet to wash it for him, if you, if you raise her on dry hair it can pull quite a lot, um, if you've got really sharp razors, so I like to use it, I like to use it where everybody's different. Okay, I'm going to give the client a nice haircut and I'm going to watching this as a, as a hairstylist or as you're watching it as a, as a client but uh, it definitely is part of the pleasurable experience you want to get rid of all those, especially when they're really really short hairs they can be like little tiny needles that can get stuck in, in underneath the skin, quite nasty so make this nice for your client and uh, make, you know, let them make the most of it um, and once you've done that you can then set that styling Okay, client's hair's all nicely washed. I'm just going to put just a little bit of mousse through the top, which is going to help with the styling, and give it a really quick blast with the with the um, hair dryer. That's the tricky word I was looking for. And then we're going to just run straightness through, and then I'm going to pick pick the pieces of hair through and with some nice finishing. I would always, always recommend you use GHD straighteners. They are absolutely the best in the market by miles and miles. Um, for short hair like this, the best ones you can use are the little thin ones, which are half the size um, of these, because you can get slightly closer to the scalp. But if you've got uh, plenty of skill, I'm just really, I'm just running it through, just kind of, just using the comb. If you could see, pick, pick the hair up with the comb, run the straighteners through. Is that going anywhere near your scalp, sir? No. You're not burning at all, not feeling any. Okay, as you can see it's creating that, so we'll put a nice bit of finishing product on in a minute. It'll give you the lovely look you want. Obviously, whichever direction you want the hair to sit in is really the way you should be pulling it, which you've done all the way through the style. Okay, I'm going to do the finishing touches now. As you can kind of see with my client's hair, he's got it's all nice and straight and it's going in various directions without the finishing product on but he does need lots of finishing product he's um, he's grown this hair especially for me so I can do this um, so the next time you see him you may well have had it shortened I've got a feeling Pete uses this bedhead tiggy product which is fantastic a way that you can use this guys if you're doing it on your own it's so easy you can just rub it in the hair like this and you kind of get an effect that you could just walk out the door and go out with it and you could also pull it into, into different places what I like to use is a Redken product called Rewind because I can use that's like a gum. I'll show you, it's like a gum. Can you see that there? So you can really work with that. Okay, you can see what we're doing. We're putting it into various places. It's looking absolutely 
gorgeous. Obviously, the main problem you get as a, as a hairstylist or as a client going in, please understand, when you ask to recreate a Peter Andre hairstyle or a Charlie hairstyle, or anybody's hairstyle, you've got different hair. It's never going to be exact. It's always going to be different to that person. But basically, you can recreate similarities. If you can see the top there, what I'm doing is just kind of got the gum on my hands I'm just sort of twisting it to bring it into the peaks all right you don't want it too sort of spiky so you kind of do that and then you'll lose it in again by ruffling it slightly now the guy that does this for Peter Andre is his brother called Mike who's an absolutely phenomenal hairstylist total respect and I'm pretty sure that he's going to be quite impressed with this can you just show us through the camera now this is not your normal typical hairstyle so is it no. What do you think of it? It's very nice. Thank you very much for saying that. It's going to ask me to take it all off to number two in a minute. So there we are. All I'm going to do really is just finish it off with plenty of hairspray and maybe talk him into a little bit of colour next time. How do you feel about that? Nice bit of blue black going through there. Nice. And, uh, let me just see. Final look. Not bad. Recreation of a kind of Peter Andre hairstyle. <laughs>